Switzerland, not just a country, but a federation, a collection of 26 states called cantons. What sets them apart and what makes them alike? Do you know? Well, now's your chance to find out. Today we're gonna talk about St. Gallen, one of the larger cantons of Switzerland. Hello and welcome to 7 Facts. St. Gallen is a federal state of Switzerland, located in the northeastern part of the country. It covers about 5% of the country and contains 6% of the population. Right in the middle lie the cantons of Appenzell Innerhorden and Appenzell Außerhorden, completely surrounded by St. Gallen. Most of the 500,000 people that live here are German speakers. Well, that's all the boring stuff. Let's see what St. Gallen is actually about. St. Gallen is not really a naturally formed state. By that I mean it was artificially created. Only about half of the canton correspond to acquisitions made by the Abbey of St. Gallen over the centuries. The rest were joined together by Napoleon Bonaparte in the Act of Mediation of 1803. Here's a little context. The city of St. Gallen has been independent since 1405 and it never fully joined the Swiss Confederacy. The territory of the modern-day canton contained 11 independent cities, abbeys and lordships. They were joined together in two cantons during the 1798 French invasion. These two newly formed cantons had immediate financial problems and even war broke out. With Napoleon acting as a mediator, representatives of the Swiss cantons met in Paris to end the various conflicts that plagued what was then the Helvetic Republic. In the aftermath of this meeting, the Helvetic Republic was dissolved, the Swiss Confederation was established, and St. Gallen as it looks today came into existence, ceased to remain an associate state and fully joined the Confederation. Before we get to the next fact, I'd like to ask you one thing. This video isn't sponsored, none of them are so far, so perhaps you'd consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. If you still enjoy my content, go visit my Patreon page and help this channel out. Right, with that said, let's go to fact number 3. The city of St. Gallen, commonly known as St. Gall, serves as the capital of the entire canton. It evolved from the Hermitage of St. Gall, founded in the 7th century. Today it's a large urban center by Swiss standards with around 76,000 inhabitants. For centuries, it's been a center of Germanic culture, and as one might expect from a Swiss city, it's full of cultural and architectural landmarks. Thanks to this and its thriving economy, St. Gallen is also a magnet not just for tourists, but also foreign nationals. Nearly 29% of the population came from outside of Switzerland, mostly from Germany, Italy and the Balkans. So who was the actual St. Gall? He was an Irish monk who lived in Switzerland during the 6th century AD on a mission to spread Christianity on the continent. Gall is chiefly remembered for his role in the Christianization of the country. At one point he founded the Hermitage that would eventually become a monastery, then the Abbey of St. Gallen. According to early accounts, after tripping over some wild plants in the Steinach Gorge, Gall became convinced that this was the place where he should build a hermitage and preach the gospel. While there are many myths around this man, he was a real person and is considered to be the founder of St. Gallen. If you've ever seen and liked Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, you're gonna love this next thing. The town of Flaville is home to the Maestrani Swiss Chocolate Factory, a factory that you can visit. The Maestrani Chocolarium offers tours where you can not just learn about chocolate, but you can also eat a bunch of it. Liquid chocolate, nutty chocolate, chocolate bars and chocolate flakes, you can taste them all. Snacking is encouraged. If you ever needed a reason to visit Switzerland, this is it. Another great landmark in St. Gallen is the Abbey Library. This is a medieval monastic library that's been designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. The library collection is the oldest in Switzerland and one of the earliest and most important monastic libraries in the world. It holds 160,000 volumes, including manuscripts from 1200 years ago. 
Irrespective of the fact whether you are fond of historic sites or not, Abbey Library is a must-visit place due to its culture and very rich architecture. Not fond of historic sites? No worries, there's a place here for you too. Sentis is the ideal place to visit for adventure lovers. At this spot you will find some of the most beautiful and stunning natural landscapes of Switzerland. Located at an altitude of over 2,500 meters, you can reach the summit via a cable car that'll pull you up 1,123 meters in just 8 minutes. Once you're here, the panorama you're greeted with is spectacular. If the weather allows it, you can catch a glimpse of no less than 6 countries – Switzerland, Germany, Austria, Liechtenstein, France and Italy. The magnificent views that this place has to offer set it apart from all other major attractions of the canton. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Leave your comments downstairs and don't forget there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye.